Hey guys, and welcome back. Right, I have kind of managed to find Gauntlet Legends on the uh, Dreamcast. However, I don't have the original box and the original game anymore. Uh, when I split up with my ex ages and ages ago, we lost loads and loads of stuff. I actually lost like... Um, Probably 90% of my Dreamcast collection. And I have been on eBay recently looking uh, at to replace some of these games. And holy fucking hell. Dreamcast games now are so expensive. Like unobtainably expensive, unfortunately. However, when I first discovered, probably back in 2005 to 2007 something like that i first discovered that you could actually as long as you've got a, a mark one dreamcast system you can actually back up and burn uh dreamcast games and i did that a lot so going through loads and loads of things i found this which is a very old cd wallet that you can see my rabbit i don't know how well you can check that out my rabbit actually enjoyed this quite a lot um where's the other bit Ugh, there it is and I opened this bad boy up, and I have so many, like, backup Dreamcast games. It's crazy. I actually thought, to be honest, well, there's all sorts of stuff in here, but mainly backup Dreamcast games. And um, I've also got another wallet of these of, of this somewhere with loads of backups on there. There's also some weird games on here that were never actually officially released. Um, so luckily I do have a backup of Gauntlet Legends on CDR. Uh, which I'm actually thinking might be the only way that I can do a lot of Dreamcast games these days. Because after looking at the prices of them on eBay, fucking hell. Yeah, some games that I had... Um, are like 70, 80 pound now for one, for one game. Gauntlet Legends on the Dreamcast at the moment is going for about 50 pound. On, I picked it up for pennies on, um, on the PlayStation. It's what, two pound? I, being a retro collector, I wouldn't, I don't know. I collect certain consoles, Dreamcast and PlayStation one mainly. It's so frustrating how much money these games... Like, does anyone even pay 90 quid for these games? Uh, I don't know. But anyway, we do have a copy of it to compare. So, I got my VGA... VGA cable and all that shit sorted. I think it's a VGA compatible game. So, let's have a little look, shall we? See the difference? Like, I remember so many things that are just slightly different with the Dreamcast. It's going to be interesting to see if that was just... Oh, yeah, of course. Battery's long since dead. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if these uh, differences are actually differences or if it's just because I don't remember good. Quite looking forward to seeing the graphics. I remember them being so much better. We are running VGA. Which is cool. VGA is the best way to play your Dreamcast. Um, like 90% of the Dreamcast library is VGA compatible. There are a few oddballs that aren't. So this is going to... I'm really looking forward to this. But, like, I don't know. I just... I remember so many different things. Like, I'm sure there were way, way more enemies for a start. Your VMU has adequate space. Continue on your quest. Well, that's good. I've got about a thousand VMUs. Nice. This is the Dreamcast I actually brought not that long ago. Um, and it arrived not working. But I managed to fix it. I mean, obviously the resolution's going to be higher because we're using VGA. Which is 640 by 480p. Okay, that is definitely cleaner. But, I mean, it's an unfair advantage, really. Um, okay, so... The start screen is different. So, up and down on the D-pad don't do anything. How do we select? Uh. Okay. Well, that's good. My control pad's not... Apparently doing much. 
Oh, no. What? Work then. One second. God damn it. And one blown fuse later, we're back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just had to tear my donor Dreamcast apart for a, for a fuse, which was... Yay! I guess... I guess I need to buy another one. So I need to buy a third Dreamcast. You know... I wish... Like, you get so many reproduction consoles for, like, the 16-bit and the 8-bit era. Why is nobody doing reproduction CD-based systems? Do you know how much I would murder somebody um, if Sega announced that they were going to do, like, a reproduction fucking Dreamcast or Sega Saturn or something? And that's another thing when it comes to these... Um, these, what do you call them, mini consoles that they're bringing out these days. That's fine. They're great, and they're small, and they're cheap. Why don't, like, here's a mind fuck for everybody. Why don't they be smart and actually bring out a new version of their old consoles that actually reads discs and cartridges? What a fucking genius idea. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's try... Uh, the Dreamcast version of Gauntlet Legends. Jesus. Why none of these companies have any brain power? I mean, I get it, I get it. If they're going to re-engineer like a new Dreamcast or a new PlayStation 1, yeah, it would cost more money, right? And it would cost more... Um, It'd have to cost us, the user, uh, more money. The consumer, I should say. But, like, who would complain about getting a brand new PlayStation 1? <sighs> or, you know, they could just, like, make the PlayStation 4 play PlayStation 1 and 2 games. 3, I can understand that. But PS4 not being able to play 1 and 2 games? <sighs> Gives me a headache thinking about it. Midway games. Right, let's actually try the differences. And it's working now. It's working. Dreamcast as well. They're so unreliable these days. It's so frustrating. I've had so many. Right, let's go. Probably four or five now. In an ancient time, a greedy young mage, using the power of the rune stones, released a great evil upon the world. This demon scorned. Fearing the power of the runestones, cast them to the far reaches of the four mystical realms in hope that they will never again be assembled and used against him. No one has dared try. Until now. So the cinematic was different. Huh. How strange. Okay. So the cinematic was quite different. Quite sh a little bit shorter, I think. And look at this. We're getting a flyby of one of the levels, I guess, running at two frames a second. I do remember that being quite a thing. The Dreamcast version does have... Ah, now my fucking control pad works. I do remember um, Dreamcast version having... Issues, PAL settings. Oh, we can't change the settings because we're running in VGA. Uh, vibration pack is on. Good. I have one of the official vibration packs I brought. One cool thing with the Dreamcast is there's still a lot of um, brand new old stock to buy. Just no brand new old stock consoles. Although they do come up every now and again. But do you want to pay £700 for a Dreamcast? I mean, do I want to pay £700 for a brand new Dreamcast? Yes. Yes, I do. Can I afford to do that? No. <laughs> no. Don't be silly. Um, right. Okay, so we're on medium difficulty. That's fine. What I, fr what I remember is, like, these difficulties are more to do with, um... Like, if you've got four players, then you dial it up. Controller settings, toggle stereo. We're on stereo, yeah. Um, alright, nice. Yeah, because another game that I wanted to let's play is Silver. Silver is a really cool old RPG. It came out on the PC, and it came out on the Dreamcast. The PC va version is like £10 on Steam, which is fine. But I want to do the Dreamcast version, because that's what I remembered. £120. Yeah, no. 
No. So let's see the difference. Like, who's going to pay 120 Oh, this is different. Of course, because you've got the four-player select instead of the two. Who's going to pay £120 for it? Who? Nobody. Like, why charge such ludicrous money? There's people charging, like, £250 for a brand new Shemu 2. That's been there for, like, five years on eBay. No one's going to buy it. Put the price down to, like, let's, let's be generous and say £100. That's still a lot of fucking money for a game. But at £100, like, someone might buy it. I don't understand why you'd price your stock to the point where nobody's going to buy it. it oh, I don't know. Alright, anyway, let's go new. Oh, we've only got three characters. Remember on the PlayStation, we had a lot more. So we've only got initials here. I will have my initials. T-S-H. Select a character. So we're not the cool blue that we were before. Oh, look, they actually give you a bit more information here. And we've got more health. We've got 1,000 health instead of starting off with 600. So we've got Dwarf, Knight, Sorceress, Jester, Warrior, Valkyrie. We can be the Valkyrie again. Maybe for... Maybe we should be the Valkyrie again. She looks... Like, all the models look slightly different as well. Hmm. Okay. Let's be Valkyrie again, just uh Oh, we can change our colour. Let's be blue. <gasps> Ooh, she looks cool. And we actually have a strength stat, a speed stat, armor, and magic stat this time round. Which is quite interesting. That's different. Alright. Welcome, blue Valkyrie. Welcome, blue Valkyrie. The sound seems to roll off a little bit better, a little bit quicker, but again, these sort of things you expect. Quite looking forward to seeing what the graphics look like. Okay, alright, well, they're definitely not as nice as I remember. This arena looks different as well. This arena is totally different. Yeah, it's a lot smaller for a start. And, just from... So we've got, obviously, a native analog controller on the Dreamcast. But, that still feels like you're moving in digital directions. Doesn't feel like true analog. On the PlayStation 1, it was a very smooth, proper analog control. I wonder why these versions seem to be so different. This is really interesting. So we can sprint with the right trigger. Don't... Left trigger doesn't do much. D-pad just moves you. Y, nothing. X, nothing. A is attack. So we've got the same attack. B, block, I guess. All right, can we talk to this chap? We can. Okay, history. My brother Garn used the power of the 13 rune stones to summon forth the demon lord Scorn. Scorn was too powerful before my brother to control broke free from his magic bond. Scorn, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so I guess that's all the same. Enemy hint. You must destroy the dragon and retrieve the shard. He guards for Scorn. Okay. Rune hint. Rune is hidden in the valley of fire. You must recover all 13 rune stones if you are to defeat Scorn. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm sure we played this one. Uh, multiplayer. So where's the shop? If you remember on the PlayStation version, we had a shop. Have we not got a shop here? This dude's not a shop. Well, there's the shattered window that he spoke about. This is a little more, a little more obvious on this one. The frame rate really ain't great considering there's, like, I mean, the Dreamcast will run this in its sleep. The PlayStation 1 version was very smooth. It felt 60 frames a second. Uh, this is running, well, which it wouldn't have been, it would have been 50. But this, this is 50, yeah, this is 60 frames a second. I can tell by the way the game's scrolling and it feels like it. But it doesn't feel as smooth as the PlayStation 1. Well, are the levels going to be the same? I guess so, because it's the same cutscene. 
You are now entering Valley of Fire. The Valley of Fire. Hmm. Interesting. So a lot of differences so far. Right, oh fuck, can we get attacked like straight away? Now interesting thing about this version straight away. Yeah, I blatantly remember there's so many more enemies than there are on the PlayStation version. There's so many more enemies. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. But all we have to do here, there's a lot more voice as well. There's way more voice speech. Almost as if this is a remaster, in a way. We've got 100 gold there. Ooh, fire amulet. But it ass. Grab that key. So, oh, okay. I didn't actually want to open that game, but fine. So we have no store. That's interesting. Grab the food. Yeah, she says different things as well. So we can't open that one yet. Don't know if experience has done the same and whatnot, but I suppose we're going to find out. But yeah, this almost feels like a remaster. Oh, look down there. It's a rune, not an obelisk. This is so weird that the... The version is so different. I don't know how we use magic. That door's different. Oh, That had the button in it. If you remember, the button was there on the PlayStation 1. Hmm. Okay, there's a lot more fire traps everywhere as well. Now, you only have to walk into enemies to automatically attack them as well, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so uh, X is... X is magic. Oh, there's an orgasmic sound. For, there we go. This is way different, though. I'm impressed. Whoa. I don't know if I'd be impressed, per se, but just confused. And yeah, we are leveling up the same. Grab another key. Open the chest. Gold! We've got like 200 gold. Are we getting more gold as well? I don't think we got this much gold in the PlayStation version. Which, again, I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure because we're not even like through the level yet. A lot more of these demon doors as well. I might actually have to do some research, see if I can find out why it's so different. Um, there is a Nintendo 64 version of this game as well, but I don't know um, what, like, if that's its own thing as well, or if that's more in line with the PlayStation version or more in line with this version. I don't know, but I'm actually really curious to find out. What does Start do? Start doesn't. Okay, Start just brings that up. Which is a bit ass. Alright, we've got more keys, I suppose, so we can use those. The level layout is kind of the same, but there's just, like, more enemies. And, like, items are in totally different places as well. But, it, and, and the, the craziest thing is, it just doesn't feel as smooth. I mean, the graphics are definitely slightly better. Uh, but not by much. I mean, this definitely isn't one that's going to push the DC as hard as it can. But, I don't know. Like, I remember playing this with, like, four people. No, not four people. I think we had three at one point. And it was loads of fun. Also, check out our health. We started with 1,000 health, and we're now on 1,055. So you can push your health up over the original limit. Whereas on the PlayStation version, you could only reach your maximum health of your of your set level. Huh. I mean, it very much does look like... Um, visually, they, they haven't really done much to it whatsoever. Oh, we got that for extra speed. God damn it, game. And uh, we don't seem to have... Uh, any way of telling like how long we've got left on power-ups whereas on the PS version we had uh, a lot more information 
down below, which I guess they've got rid of because of uh, the fact that there's up to four screens on there now. Now, we don't want to waste a key on there. We don't have a key to waste anyway. I'm pretty sure I always used to, like, try and open everything when I played this. Um... Well, that's really wasteful on keys, especially as we can't uh, seem to buy. Well, we must be able to buy stuff because we're getting gold. We've got 450 gold. Rapid Ooh, fire. nice. Me like the rapid fire. All right. I mean, it's certainly not like a generation better, is it? But then, I mean, I guess Gauntlet Legends is kind of a budget game, so. How much were they realistically going to improve it by, I guess? And there is a little bit more definition on the enemies, though. You can kind of tell um, between the big and the little ones. The big and the little ones? The bigger ones definitely have, like, more armor and stuff. Whereas before, we had, like, skinny ones and not-so-skinny ones. So that's something. Yeah, they've got, like, battle dress on. They definitely look much better. Seems to take a lot of XP to level up. And because we're not actually getting more health when we level, I wonder what the difference is between leveling. The soundtrack's quite cool, though. I mean, it's like that generic fantasy stuff. Which is not necessarily unpleasant, if a little generic. Right. Oh, an eagle. Oh, that's a phoenix, wasn't it? Phoenix familiar. Oh, he fires fireballs. Nice. It's like extra, extra damage. Ooh, waterfall. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's the end of the level. We got 550 gold. And we got more gold than we started. We got more health than we started with as well, which is nice. Ah, in shop. Yeah, we killed nearly a hundred more enemies than the PlayStation. Over a hundred more enemies than the PlayStation version. Holy fuck nuggets. Look how much stuff costs. Stuff is way more expensive. PlayStation, um, keys were 50. Now they're 250. Jesus. Right, we're gonna get out of there. We ain't gonna buy anything. Fuck that noise. We don't have that kind of money. Huh. So back to Summoner's Tower. I mean, it's a little bit. Um, this hub world is more clearly laid out. But I think the PlayStation one, and there's a lot more lighting effects and what are going on. But I think the the PlayStation one had more character to it. I mean, you'd expect it to visually look better. You are now entering Dagger Peak. I think these levels are called the same thing. But they are definitely... Oh, wow. Yeah, because this is definitely the version I remember grinding and leveling up on. It is kind of cool, I suppose, that you can just collect food and just continuously increase your health bar. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. Not really sure. It means you don't have to worry about leaving anything behind. You can just grab everything on the way. Yeah, actually, I'm thinking about it, I do prefer that. Nice. Our familiar's fucked off. Right, this is where things get confusing, because... do. I guess we'll open that. Alright, grab that. Oh, and another key. How did I miss that key? Because I'm a stupid ass. Probably. Alright, so we can go that way, or we can go this way. For some reason, though, something is sticking in my head that I had, um... Hey, we're level 4. Nice. Something is sticking in my head that I played this on the Ooh. original Xbox. I wonder if there's the original Xbox version. Ooh. That was cool. 
I mean, I do remember Boulder's Gate on the original uh, Xbox. That was a good game. That was loads of fun to play together as well. It wasn't as good as Boulder's Gate on the PC. But it was very good. It was a fun ha- Ah, oh, fuck. Because the screen is so zoomed in, it's so easy to waste keys on stuff that you don't want to open. Which is a pain. It almost punishes you for exploring. Hey, we have... Oh, that's poison food, remember? Limited growth. I wonder what that does. Oh, shit. It's made us bigger. That's what it's done. Holy fuck. That's fine. Oh, we just cut our way through every fucking thing. Hmm. But I tell you what, I am actually really enjoying this game. Oh, no. There's death. Oh, okay. Oh, we lost a level for that. Oh, that's shit. So, we're going to want to hold on to potions then. Just in case we run into death. But, notice we had a voice clip there telling us how to defeat death, whereas on the PlayStation, we didn't. And I guess the advantage of the PS version is um, we've got a manual. Whereas I don't have a manual or anything for this one. But it still says I'm level 4. Was I level 5? I don't know. Or is it only a temporary level loss? We don't want to go down there because that door is just going to waste a key. There's some food down there though. How many more enemies is there though? Unless the reason there's so many more enemies is because they just assumed that you'd be playing at 4 player. And the game doesn't scale. But I suppose it's manageable difficulty. Alright, I want to be careful here. Yeah, there's the door. We don't need to open that door. Fuck you, door. Okay, so I'm guessing we're almost level 5. It doesn't really say what level we are. Oh, I forgot we got block, haven't we? But we haven't found any ranged... Well, we have found ranged characters, but not many. X-ray glasses, eh? I guess that allows us to see secrets. I mean, what else would they do? So that'd be quite nice. Any secrets? And oh, it shows you what's in the chests. Ah, that's very cool, actually. So you know if it's worth wasting a key on. I wonder how long they last for. Yes! Level 5. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, he's... Seems to be stronger than he was. Yeah. His hitbox. He seems to be able to hit me. Ouch. Yeah, he can hit me a lot easier. And there's nowhere to run from him, either. There's so many enemies! So, I say the PlayStation version. Oh! Hey, we just did a heroic effort. He's definitely not as strong, but I think I'm a higher level. Definitely want the magic, just in case old Death decides to turn up. Mr. Bonesy. Definitely liking these x ray specs, though. I don't know what that is. Lightning amulet. All oh, right, that gives us lightning. Nice. Give me, give me, give me. Do you like food? Most humans like food. I guess we can't go through there. Hmm. <laughs> what a stupid thing to say. I like food. No shit. Uh, at least we've profited health-wise again. At least so far. Yeah, that does way more damage. Don't know if we're actually, like, making any damage to this thing, either. I'm not sure. Let's destroy that. I don't trust it. It looked fancy. Might be something bigger coming through there. Okay. Nice. Do you look... Ah, oh, I wasted a key. 
I do like the way you can also walk into enemies and that attacks. I don't think that happened on the PlayStation version. Not 100% sure. Now, was there like an amulet or, or something to find? Is there something to find on every level? I don't know. It doesn't say. And to that end, let's do a bit of research here. I wonder. This is definitely the version I remember, though. I'm sure it is. I'm really enjoy. I am enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would. I got very bored of it um, on the when I first played it. I think. Nice. Got lots of uh, XP there. Buy power ups. I wish I knew what these did. So we can buy armor. Reflection shield. Ah. So if I buy strength. It puts your strength up by five. Shit. That's not that good. Okay. Now, it didn't congratulate us for finding anything, obviously. Can we replay levels, I wonder? Let's see if we can replay levels. See if all the gold and stuff's back. <laughs> see if uh, it's... You are now entering... Yeah, I mean, I guess we could go grind. I don't know if the enemies will get harder, though. Right. I do like the way. Yeah, because we get all of our keys. Okay, so potentially we could just grind levels for magic. Which is interesting. And health, for that matter. Oh, hey, pal. Boop. Right, well. Well, I think this has given us a fairly good idea of the game. And uh, obviously, if you did want to play this multiplayer, the DC version is the better option because you've got the four controller ports built into the machine. That's if you can find a decent Dreamcast that works. I used to think they were like mega reliable. I used to have one for ages. Maybe I've just been really unlucky by people just selling shit ones that are on the fritz. Like I say, the problem is, because unlike the PlayStation, um, where there's millions and millions and millions of PlayStations out there, they only sold like 14 million Dreamcasts throughout the entire world. It sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. And obviously a lot of those don't work anymore. Or have been lost. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm going to leave this one here, guys. Um, I don't know what one is ultimately better than the PlayStation, uh, the, the, the best version, I should say. They are both very different. Uh, I'd say the Dreamcast one definitely seems more multiplayer focused. Um, and there's like more enemies and stuff like that, but the PlayStation one is probably a better idea if you want to play it single player. Buddy, can you please not do that? To the, yeah, to the microphone. I mean, the Dreamcast has the edge on the graphics, but it doesn't feel smooth. Um, like the PlayStation, the graphics were quite rough, um, but it was nice and silky smooth, and the analog control was better, and the UI on the PlayStation was better as well. And I definitely preferred the hub world on the PlayStation. Huh, but I think I'm slightly, like, even though I've just listed all those positives, um, I think I'm slightly tilted towards the Dreamcast because it's the version I know. Um, also, the DC version has the better sound and more voiceovers. I don't know. I think you're going to have to decide yourselves which version you like the best. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.